Today I'm going to answer this one question, is psoriasis reoccurring? These autoimmune diseases, the urticaria, eczema, psoriasis, we've seen that there is no cure, but Ayurveda cures it. But is it also true that there is no reoccurrency? Let me answer this question in detail. Namaste everyone, welcome to Jovi's Hospital of Ayurveda and Aesthetic Center, Mumbai. When it comes to an Ayurvedic treatment, patients choose Ayurveda when all doors are closed. Be it dermatology, orthopedic, psychiatry, neurology, nephrology. When all doors are closed, when there is no cure, when the patient is fixed in a trap where they cannot live without a steroid for a day, or even in spite of using, they are not getting the relief, when that's the situation, Patients think of obtaining an Indian science called Ayurveda. And in spite of such serious conditions, we see Ayurveda gives them that lifelong recovery. We've seen in over 46 plus countries, patients on an average take 5 to 7 years time to realize what they have been doing and what they should be doing. To understand the real process for lifelong recovery. So, as we know, psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis, all these are the autoimmune skin infections we've discussed in detail about the causes, the remedies, treatments, herbs, and most patients have got the benefit from the videos itself. We've discussed in detail about how the disease progresses further, how you can prevent it from progressing further, and how you can reverse it. We see years and years the disease has been ignored or it has been suppressed. Anything we suppress, we have experienced it ourselves that it progresses further. We see when we start with an authentic Ayurvedic treatment, Pathya Pathya, which is do's and don'ts, and the Panchakarma, which are the authentic cleaning and cleansing procedures, we see patients show step by step results 5%, 10%, 50% every week, every 15 days, every month, depending on how the patients follow. We see that step by step recovery where there is no way going back. The patient is just improving further. In all these autoimmune skin infections, years and years of diseases of eczema, psoriasis, we see dermatitis, urticaria. We see that first we have to get the patient out from their medication, their antihistamine, their clobidazoles, their ketoconazoles, their all these habitual medicines, and then we need to cure and you know reverse the disease basically. So we see there is step by step progress. Once the patient is completely recovered from the disease, what we generally advise is for a span of three to six months, patient has to stick to the diet. Less salt, no dairy or less dairy no non-veg or less non-veg, we give them simple diet restrictions. Dairy, bakery, non-vegetarian items, we advise them salt as less as possible. We've given you an example and analogy, salt on the inside, salt on the outside, just like the scales of psoriasis, just as an example. So these diet restrictions we've discussed in our videos as well, that for a span of three to six months, patients have to stick to the diet. And then step by step, they can come back to the normal diet and we see patients do not have any reoccurrency provided they follow the post-cure treatment as well. Which we see at Jovi's in, you can see 95 to 100 percent cases where there is no reoccurrence. We inform the patient, we educate them that Rakta Dushti is the main cause and the first step to all these skin infections. So on the Rakta Dushti curve, diet and the lifestyle must be followed or must be in limitation, in moderation. For avoiding the reoccurrences, the gift of Ayurveda is Panchakarma. Panchakarma is the gift of Ayurveda, which means if the guests are coming home, we won't decorate the house, we will clean the house. If the AC is not working, if the water is you know dipping, leaking, we will not clean the floor, but we will fix the AC. Similarly, timely Panchakarma through Virechana, which is a simple the detoxification therapy and second most important it is the Rakta Moksha. Siraved and the Alabu Chikitsa which is commonly known as wet cupping or Siraved which is a venous section therapy. These are the treatments that are Ayurvedic procedures which have been done since 5000 years which has prevented an incurable disease. In spite of the nature of the disease to progress, to not be prevented, to reoccur, we see 
when the ratta moksha is done when the alavu chikitsa is done when the patya patya is done even in moderation there is no reoccurrence the patient is free from the disease even in case we see 5 to 10% in case patient is cured with ayurveda there could be a relapse but it is just one small corner with absolutely no symptoms and patient knows the manageable things how he will get rid because we in ayurveda educate the patient about that process so step by step the patient recovers there is complete recovery and also there is post cure management when in through ayurveda if we see a patient recovering of course it is 100% true that the disease will not come back all of a sudden which we see it used to come back all these years before opting an ayurveda treatment but it may come back in a span of 3 months 1 year 3 year 5 year 10 year but ratha moksha which is just going to take 2 to 5 minutes of the time to be done once a month once in 3 months 6 months depending on the patient ayurveda physicians and ayurvedic dermatologists advise them give their best and of course we see in maximum cases with all confidence all the data in all countries we see that the disease does not come back it is very important to have this kind of a mindset this kind of approach for complete recovery and we also see that the patient who has newly developed this disease it may not be seen in those cases but a patient who has done every single thing who has tried anything and everything they follow ayurveda 100% and we also see through our experience that these are the serious patients that comparatively recover way way faster than what even we are expected it could be even a month three month or six month we see patients completely recovering with absolutely no reoccurrence no failure we have discussed all these aspects in our you know videos do watch them do write your doubts or questions in the comment section below all these autoimmune conditions they are curable be relaxed be positive don't take stress because stress will just you know aggravate the problem further chintyanam cha ati chintana rasa vahinya dushyanti the rasa bhas trotas the first tissue itself is disrupted the stan of rasa dhatu is in the hriday so we see that uh, you know man it is not over here but it is in the hriday we see stress aggravates the problem on a very very deep level so be relaxed be positive follow the do's and don'ts opt for ayurveda choose it wisely and you get that lifelong cure any doubts any questions let us know in the comment section below this is all for now until next time from jobies and the team look impressive be progressive